Hi everyone, as you know, I'm Jim from Jim Shaped Coding. This episode is going to talk about loops and how you can do multiple actions with a few lines of code. And we will understand the logic behind the syntax of creating for loops. So there are two main types of loops in almost any programming language. And one of them is for loop and the second one is while loop. And they are totally different from each other and we are going to focus on for loops today and we will learn about while loops in the future. But let's see an example of what we want to do today. So we have a list of three strings and we want to write a description about each name here and to tell that each one is a great player. We want to put in the same effort as if they were 50 strings in this list. So for example, this is not going to work because as you see here, I have a list of three names and I just print each of them and I collect each of them by its index as we already know from the previous episodes. So this is not what I want to do because I will do a lot of copies and pastes if I had 20 names in that list. So this is where for loop comes in and could make our life much easier. For loop allows us to iterate over some sequence and adding to it some special actions like in the animation you see right now. So I can go inside a list and I can pick a name one at a time and print it with some sentence like I show you right now. Okay, so this is what for loops are about. And in a minute, I will show you an example of how you can create your own for loop in Python. And this is how it is going to work. So as you see in the first line, we have our names list just the same as we saw in the presentation. Then I have to take the names list and do something with it. So what I want to do is actually going inside this list and tell Python that I want to print is a great player after each name here. So I have to go inside my names. So before the names, I can add the in keyword as we already learned before i know that it is yelling at me but just a second you will see that the for loop syntax really makes sense and if i go in the beginning of this line one more time what i have to do now is picking a random variable name that it is going to be assigned throughout my loop so i can use this variable in each time that I iterate over a name. So I will pick a variable name, which is called name because this makes sense. And before all this, what I have to do is just simply adding the word of four. So now this line really makes sense because what I am telling Python, for each name in the names list you have, and then I can continue to make my actions after I specified the kind of loop I want. And now here will come the colon sign, just as we learned in the if statement. And now I can press enter and start doing whatever I want with each element. So for the first example, what I want to show you is just simply printing each name. Now pay attention here. I want to print each name at a time and not the names itself because printing the names list each time I iterate over a name does not really make sense. So I just have to write a name here, only the name variable. And now you see if I double click the name, it synchronizes with the name I mentioned in the line above. And now if I run this, let's make that bigger you see that I get all names one at a time as expected. And now back to our task from the beginning of the presentation, what I want to do now is actually printing that each name is a player. So what I can do here is using a formatted string, just hit the F there. And now I can open up my string like this 
and I will delete this. And here, what I'm going to do is simply calling the variable of name because this is the assigned variable for each element that I'm iterating on. So I can hit here the name and print something like is a great player. And now if I run this one more time, the result is just as the presentation and I get this sentence three times. Now, just to make this point really clear, if I go to my names list back in the first line and I add a name here like Jim, let's make this with a single code just for convention reasons. And now if I run this one more time without changing anything in my for loop, I will get the same result, but there you go. I also have the sentence, Jim is a great player. And this is happening because now I don't iterate over three elements in a list. I iterate over four elements in a list. So this was an example of for loop. We will look deeper in the for loop in the next episode. It is important to cover more points on that. And we will also understand on what else you can iterate because not only on lists you can create for loops. So I will see you in the next part of for loops. Don't forget to crack the subscribe button and also like this video. I will see you very soon.